G'day, I'm Sean and we have some new accessories that allow you to use Alexa 35 parts on your Alexa Mini LF or your Alexa Mini. When we introduced the Alexa 35, we also introduced a full set of new accessories. And the process of designing those accessories took quite a number of years actually. We had a lot of prototyping sessions, we had a lot of beta testing feedback, and all the way through the process, we kind of had two key design criteria that we were aiming for. We wanted these accessories to be you know, super lightweight, but also really, really stiff and strong so that there was no flex anywhere on set. The other thing that we wanted to make sure these accessories gave us was the ability to quickly change between shooting styles on set. So to go from, say, handheld or studio or into a Steadicam or into a Trinity 2 really quickly without tools. So that's why we introduced quick release top handle and so many new base plates to accommodate all the different devices that we use on set. So, I have my compact bridge plate here, CBP5, that has this lovely quick release mechanism. I can come straight off the dovetail. And then I have one lever on the side and a little safety release button. And then I can pull the CBP5 off and slide in one of the sand plates, for example, for a stabilizer. And that system's really cool and we've had a lot of fantastic feedback about that and the adoption rate of those accessories with Alexa 35s has been really close to 100% all cameras that we've sold. But what people have started asking about is, hey, well, you know, I really love these new base plates. Can I use them with older cameras? And the answer is now yes. So with new plates for the Alexa Mini and the Alexa Mini LF, I can use all of those same plates from the Alexa 35 and slide them straight in like this. The benefits of upgrading to the new compact bridge plate well, for starters, we've improved the sliding mechanism now, which is a lot smoother to move on a dovetail plate. And we've incorporated both lightweight 15 mil and a studio rod standard into the one plate, which is the first time that we've ever done that for Alexa Mini or Alexa Mini LF. This is a CBP5, so it supports both lightweight 15 and studio 19. If you require 15 mil studio support, well then you can choose the CBP6 instead. Now the key to making all of this work is the new Bud 3. That's the balance utility dovetail and it screws directly into the bottom of a Mini or a Mini LF. Now in comparison to the Bud 2, which was the plate that we previously had that supported the older compact bridge plate CBP1, you'll notice that it's a lot bigger, the Bud 3, but it's actually a lot lighter as well, which is part of that new design philosophy. The biggest change though, or one of two of the biggest changes, is that the dovetail uh, receiver here, where you slide in all your sand plates or bridge plates, it's much wider and it's much longer. And that reduces flex by a great deal. So you have a lot less side-to-side -side flex because you have a much wider dovetail here than on previous you know, Bud 2 in the old compact bridge plate. The other big change is that we have this extra little protruding part out the back here. And that interfaces with the rear accessory bracket, which you've also slightly changed. So you would probably be familiar with the RAB1. That was this guy. And this was you know, sold for many years with minis and mini LFs. And we have the power splitting box that clamps onto the back. What we've done is we've basically taken two thirds of a RAB1. This is now called the RAB3. And that screws directly into the Bud3. So there's a locating pin and four screws here. Now, because the Bud 3 is kind of in one piece now with the rear accessory bracket, it's also helped to really increase the rigidity of the whole cage system. If you would like to upgrade to the new system, you don't need to completely throw away your old RAB1. What you can do is just take a T20 Torx driver and remove the four screws at the bottom here, and then you have a RAB3. So all you would need to get is the Bud 3 and whatever kind of plates you would like. Now we've taken the opportunity to update the Alexa Mini LF sets so that you can now purchase a camera with the new accessories. The new set is called the Alexa Mini LF production set. So it matches the naming of the Alexa 35 production set as both of those sets would use all of the same base plates. 
There are two main options when choosing what kind of production set you would like to purchase, and that is you can either get one as I have here with the MVF2 viewfinder and the nice VMB5 viewfinder mounting bracket, or you can choose to purchase it with the new CCM1. This is our seven inch touchscreen onboard monitor. And the Alexa Mini LF only has one viewfinder port, the VF port, so it can either support the CCM1 or the MVF2 with that connection. Both of these devices have exactly the same level of menu control, so it's just operator preference if you would prefer to have the new CCM1 or stick with the tried and true MVF2 viewfinder. Now, let me just run you through the other changes of the set. Uh, here are the components. So in the MVF2 set, you obviously have the MVF2 as well as our fancy new VMB5. That's that viewfinder mounting bracket that has a lot more flexibility in where I can position the viewfinder and it's a friction-based system, so it will stay where you leave it. We've also changed the top handle, so the top handle is now the CCH4, which we've had for a while with the uh, ARRI PCA sets for third-party cameras, and that has a slotted design here, so you can actually slightly unscrew and then slide the top handle backwards and forwards, and we've included two handle extension brackets because these are the newer style hex extensions, and they've been really popular. They're the same profile as the top handle, so it all looks super neat, and of course, if you get more of the extensions, you can do something like build a Hollywood handle, which will very neatly come onto the back here. On top of that, you get the side brackets as per usual, and you get the Bud 3 with the new rear accessory bracket and the CBP5 base plate, bridge plate, shoulder pad combination um, with a dovetail, which has of course been the most popular solution for the Alexa 35. Now, if you were to jump to the CCM1 version, you would basically have all the same stuff except without the viewfinder and the viewfinder mounting bracket. Instead, you would get the CCM1 set, which includes all the cables that you need, as well as our really lovely Mac one you know, friction adjustable monitor bracket, which allows for one-handed control of where the monitor is placed. And if you would like more information about the SAM plates that you can purchase to toollessly slide in to the new Bud 3 for your Mini LF, well then please go check out the Tech Talk that is dedicated to just those parts. We have dedicated parts for Ronin, Movi, Steadicam, GPI Pro, Artemis, Trinity 2, SRH3, 360, Maxima. I think that's about it, so go and watch the other Tech Talk. All right, let's talk about top plates. Well, as you can see here on this Alexa Mini, which I've got just to show you that all of the plates we're talking about in this Tech Talk can work on either Mini or Mini LF. And on this guy, I have the new lightweight camera handle for the Alexa 35. So this is the really lightweight, big, nice, solid, ergonomic top handle, which has a couple of party tricks. So the first being that I can slide this backwards and forwards so that it's got the correct balance in my hand if I'm doing some, you know, low mode style shooting. And it also supports the new balance harness adapter, which is a little slidey plate as well. So I can put the easy rig ball here or maybe an eyelet for another kind of suspension system and then make sure that that has the right balance point so the camera is not pointing upwards or down. To make all that work, you need the new MAP4. So this is the mini adapter plate number four and it's actually less than half the weight of the standard MAP2A top plate. So it's crazy lightweight actually. You can use all the standard side brackets with a MAP4 and you can use all the standard rear accessory brackets, either RAB1 or RAB3 with your battery plate. This will basically just drop in and replace a MAP2A where it needs to. It has the holes on the top for R&B accessories, for example, so it would be a cool option for a really small gimbal rig. And of course it has the holes for the lightweight camera handle, but it also has the holes for the standard CCH2 handle that's been out for many years. Now, also on this Alexa Mini, I'm running, you know, the RAB3 with the new Bud3, and I have the compact shoulder pad CSP2 here on the bottom. So I think this is quite a cool little tiny minimalist rig. It would be great with a Cine saddle or of course with an easy rig or similar kind of suspension rig as a super lightweight way to use an Alexa Mini. Of course I could you know, quickly unscrew the lightweight camera handle on the top with these four thumb screws and then slide a SAM5 in and go straight into a Movi Pro. Lots of quick change possibilities with the new accessories. All right, that's kind of it. 
thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, and we'll see you in the next one.